Hello everybody. A lot of students ask me to about lookup and VLOOKUPs and so I decided to make this video to make this thing clear because when I'm teaching macros for Excel I often see students that are learning Excel in my macros for Excel class. So before I jump to macros for Excel with VLOOKUP I want to make sure that all of you understand macros for Excel for Excel okay so I got three functions here on Excel the one the first ones lookup the second ones VLOOKUP and the other ones HLOOKUP okay they all do searches and I think that lookup I, I would say it's kind of like a smart search not very used I don't know why VLOOKUP it's the most common one and it's vertical lookup it's very very powerful and HLOOKUP it's the horizontal search okay uh, all my examples that I'm gonna do now uh, I have a very small table to work with information so you're probably gonna be wondering why are you using a function for this you just can look up with your eyes and get the information but when we're working with a, a very big spreadsheet um, setting up these functions here to look up information for you is very useful and you can leave these functions ready to get a new data and retrie retrieve all the information that you need for a report for example so this is going to save you a lot of time so this is why this, this, these functions here they are so important to work with Excel and probably if you're doing an Excel test people are gonna uh, gonna um, ask you about one of those things okay probably this one which is the most important and the most used one okay let's come over here over here I got first I got a table of data which is very small it's only going from C4 all the way to D14 so this is just an example okay just for us to take a look and see I got income here I got expenses and I got a profit okay now I'm going to make a VLOOKUP for this and and you're gonna notice how easy it is when you see just a small table another thing to take in consideration is that my Excel is in Portuguese so I'll be writing some functions in Portuguese but I'm gonna tell you what you're going to do okay so first of all you you write equal and then uh, VLOOKUP on my case it's gonna be in Portuguese so it's PROC V but you're gonna write VLOOKUP okay the first thing in open parentheses the first thing that he asks is the the um, name of the of the the string that you're searching for so I'm gonna look for profits I'm gonna write comma profits and the important thing here is to write the 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 quotation marks and also I'm sorry I said comma but it's quotation marks and also be sure to write profits just like you have in your table I have uh, uppercase P and all the other letters in lowercase so be sure to do this okay so this is my first parameter for this function here then I'm going to the second one I'm gonna press semicolon but in your case you're gonna press just comma okay because your Excel is in English and you only need this to make it work in my case I need to write this so it's a little bit different in between those languages okay now he's asking me for the table the table is gonna be from C4 all the way to D14 that's my table okay it's a very small table um, it's not the real case when you're working in real life you're not gonna use such a small table and sometimes you need to select the whole column so imagine if I wanted to select the the, the column C and D I would go C all the way to D that's what I'm gonna do I would have done okay but in our case it's gonna be C4 all the way to D14 and that's it that's my table and then I'm gonna go to the third parameter you should insert comma now and then here I should choose which column I want back for my reply if I choose column one he's gonna find profits here on column one and he's gonna return the words profit to me but if I type two as my return column he's gonna return the value which is right next to profit which is 300 so I'm gonna write two okay if you want the third value you would write three 
Uh, and then you have the last parameter, which is the, for some people the most complicated one. What you want to do here is set it to false, and false is zero, because you want the exactly match for profit with P in uppercase and the rest in lowercase. I'm going to teach you some other examples in later videos when you're going to use true, which is one, to have a, a value that's near what you're looking for, okay? But not in this case. 99% of the time, you're going to use zero, okay? Which is exactly match. Now you need to close your parentheses and press enter, and there you go, you just found 300. See how was that? So if you want to go back, you can stop the video, go back, or download my file on my, on my site. Okay, so this is, uh, we're talking about vertical tables, and I could also use the lookup function to find my profits, and lookup function does not say if it's horizontal or vertical, I just use a uh, lookup and it's going to work. And we have two ways to work with lookup. So let's go equals to lookup. I'm going to say proc on my computer because it's in Portuguese. And then open parenthesis. You should write lookup. And then what you're looking for? I'm looking for profit with P in uppercase between codes. And I'm going to go to the next parameter. You should type comma here. And then the vector that I'm looking for. Well, I'm looking in this vector here from C4 all the way to C14. So that's the vector that I'm be searching, the word profit. And what's the, what's the vector that I want to find the results? So it's my third parameter. I'm gonna choose this vector here as my result parameter. Notice that my, my vectors, they are in the same size and they start in the same row. So when he finds profits in the one, two, three, fourth position here, he's going to return the value of the one, two, three, fourth position here on the value of my answer. So that's how it works. Now I'm going to close parenthesis and press enter. And there you go, file 300. Okay. Now I'm going to do it on the other way. Other way, it's going to be the same thing. Look up, open parenthesis. I'm looking for profits with P and uppercase. And I should close the quotations and press comma for you. And then I'm going to set my, my table. Where's my table at? Well, my table is over here. It's going to C, C4 all the way to C14. Okay. I'm sorry. I wrote something wrong here. Okay. There you go. I, I got my table. So this is it. He already has a table for him to look up. And since this table is more vertical than horizontal, he's going to search for profits here. And when he finds, he's going to get the cell right next to it. So this is it. Enter, and you got 300. So this is um, VLOOKUP and LOOKUP on vertical tables. Now let me go over here and show you something a little bit different. That's going to be searching um, for information on um, horizontal tables. So this is very used for titles. When you have titles on your Excel spreadsheets and you want to search for something, you can use like you can use like HLOOKUP. I'm sorry. This is supposed to be HLOOKUP the horizontal lookup. Okay, so you go over here, equals to HLOOKUP, on my case it's pro, proc H, and then what I'm looking for, I'm looking for profit between quotation with P and uppercase, then you should type comma, and you're gonna go to choose the table that you're looking for. My table is F5 all the way to K6, this is it. So when I find the word profit, where do I, what, what value do I want to go back? One, to return the word profit right here, or two, to return the word 300, the, I'm sorry, the value 300, or three, to return this cell, or four, to return this cell. Oh, I want two, so I'm gonna type here two, okay, because he's gonna find profits, and he's not gonna bring me back the word profit. He's gonna bring me back the second row, which is 300, okay. And one more time, he's asking me for validation. If I want the exactly match or something like this. No, I want the exactly match. And I'm gonna teach you how to use the something like this later. So this is it. Close the parenthesis, press enter, and you got 300. This is it. How easy it was to make the H lookup. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the lookup. I know we just did lookup over here. But lookup also works with horizontal tables. So I can make lookup lookups work 
work over here too. So let me go equals to look up. You should say right look up and then open parenthesis. I'm looking for profits with between quotation with a P an uppercase. This is very important. People mess it up a lot. And I'm looking this vector here, F5 all the way to K5, okay? And my results are in F6 all the way to K6. So take a look one more time. I got two vectors here. I got this vector in blue and this vector in red, and they are in the same star, the same same size, starting on the same column. So when he finds profit here, he's gonna find one, two, three profits on the fourth position. Then he's gonna get the results from the one, two, three, fourth position of the vector that's supposed to return the values. So this is it. Press enter, and there you go. You got 300. The other way to do a lookup is one more time equals to lookup. Open parenthesis. I'm looking for profits with P and uppercase and between quotes. Then I'm gonna type comma for you because you're you're in America probably. So you're gonna use comma to to separate the parameters. And I'm going to select the whole table. So this is it. I'm going to close the parenthesis and now take a look at this. When he finds profits on this table, he's not going to return the value right next to it, which is J5 right over here. He's going to return the value down below with 300 because the table is so horizontal that he knows that when he finds the value that I'm searching for, he's going to return the value right under it. So this is it. I close this and I got 300 again. So this is my first example for VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP and LOOKUP. I'll be doing some more videos about this. I want, uh, if you got an error, for example, if you type something wrong, like I'm looking for a prof and uh, not, not in this case, let me go over here and I'm going to teach you about this later. Let me go over here and change to prof. Then you're going to find this cell here. and. Uh, slash a in your case in, in English this support this is this is the value that he gets when he doesn't find anything so he turned this value so I'm gonna teach you a few tricks about this later okay thank you very much be sure to subscribe my channel I'm making videos about macros for Excel and Excel um, almost every day and be sure to subscribe to my site too learn macros now.com and like my Facebook page learn macros now thank you see you next time